Responding to members' questions on the efforts to reduce smoking rates here, Senior Minister of State for Health, Kopo Kun, shares that the Health Ministry and Health Promotion Board will pilot a new smoking cessation programme. Those eligible will be offered subsidised nicotine replacement therapy, complemented with counselling in public healthcare institutions. Dr Ko also says Singapore is open to New Zealand's cohort ban on smoking and will look at how the ban is implemented, its effectiveness and how its experience could be applicable here. MOH is open to studying such a policy, but we need to take into account a few considerations. First, in Singapore's case, young people are generally not taking up smoking, unlike the youth in many other countries. Second, our bigger challenge amongst the young, smoke, young people here are e-cigarettes, which are still tobacco products and harmful to the users despite its fruity flavours. It is therefore outrightly banned here in Singapore, but with e-commerce, they still find their way here. We will need to do more to enforce the current ban to push back against the tide of popularity and increasing use. Third, the challenge with a cohort ban is in enforcement. For such a ban to be effective, we would need to introduce laws to penalise older persons who are not subject to the ban, but for abetting offences such as supplying tobacco products to the affected cohorts.